All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to this NBA 2K21 expansion franchise. As you can see in the top right, we are a team called the Huskies. We are the Vancouver Huskies. The Vancouver Huskies and the Seattle Emeralds I added into the league. Not the Supersonics, because I feel like everyone does the Supersonics. So I added a team from Seattle, but they're not called the Supersonics. Um, obviously, people have done expansion and rebuilds, but... Well, not rebuild, just franchises. But I've got inspiration from Good Game Bro, who just started one it, for a team in Vancouver. So, what 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 are the odds? Um, I do want to upload more consistently, especially during December. I, I know I already missed a day, possibly two. I forget, probably two. I think I missed two. But I'm gonna try my best. All right, I'm trying my best. We are here with the Huskies franchise episode one. You guys showed a lot of love on the Madden franchise episode one. So these two are going to be the main series along with, you guessed it, Cedric Lewis, the center, is returning. So those are going to be the three main series on the channel. Those are the series I'm going to focus on. But without further ado, if you guys are new here, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you guys are new. On the road to 700 subs, very close to it. On the road to 1,000 subs. F it. Screw it. Might as well. Protected players. Eight players are protected on each team. I mean, what what else is there to it? You can see all the players that are protected. Um, no non-protected players catch my eye. Um, Mike Conley, eh. Yeah, so far, they're all protecting big players. Man, I, w I would love that, Jay Rich. I love Jay Rich. Michael, for some reason, the Nuggets never protect Michael Porter Jr. So, if we have a high pick, I'm getting Michael Porter Jr. I'm definitely getting him. Um, so far, nothing out of the ordinary. So, I am gonna... It just happened, but I'm gonna trade Westbrook to the, um, Wizards. But, I mean, let's get it. Expansion draft. And we get the first... Wait a minute. W wait a minute. Why? Ho... Ex... Why is Devin Booker not protected? Why didn't the Suns protect Devin Booker? Okay. The other expansion team is going to draft Devin Booker because I'm not going to. I'm going to put D-Book back on the Suns. This is absolutely absurd, 2K. Why wouldn't the Suns protect Devin Booker? I'm not going to draft him, but I know... The other team is going to draft him. I'm just going to trade it back to the Suns for a player that they wouldn't have protected. I, I'm, I'm in awe. I am in awe. Can I can't go from that. I can't see. Well, nonetheless, we're going to drop Michael Porter Jr., who should have been protected. I, I actually can't believe that. RJ Barrett wasn't... Okay. We're going to drop Michael Porter Jr. I'm guessing the Emeralds are going to draft Devin Booker. I don't want to simulate. He's gonna, I'm going to put him back on the Suns. Oh, they drafted Melo. I wanted Melo. All right, I wanted Mello. We got a small forward of the future. Let's see. Hmm. Do I just go young? That's the thing. Because I see RJ Barrett here. And so far, there's not many top players on the Knicks. But I may go RJ Barrett here. He seems like the best young player possibly. So I think RJ might be the move. Oh, they actually added Okiki to the game. That's lit. All right, I'm actually going to draft RJ Barrett. So where's RJ? Here we go. The Knicks for some... Oh, I get back-to-back -back picks. Would you look at that? So we grab ourselves a point guard. I'm kind of going to go young, not really. Um, There's no really good young point guards here. There's not really any good point guards here. Um, Wow. Yeah, this is going to be something. Shooting guards. Tim Hardaway Jr. That's not bad, honestly. He's only 28. One year deal. Davis Bertans, Dwight Howard. I might go Tim Hardaway Jr. just to give us a score immediately. Because we are in the Eastern Conference, so there's a chance we could be competitive. So, you know what? This might be. I'm going to go. I'm going to go Tim Hardaway Jr. The Emeralds are going to draft Dwight Howard and Mike Conley. We still don't have a point guard. Um, Do I go Chris Dunn? He sucks offensively. I realize my TV wasn't muted. I doubt you can hear it, but um, he sucks offensively. But he might be the move, to be honest. We already got we got our small forward. 
I just drafted a shooting guard, right? I already forgot. Yeah, I drafted. Our, okay, so we got small forward. We can put Tim Hardaway at small forward. So a big. Let's see. Robert Williams is pretty solid. Jaleel Okafor. You know what? I'm going to give Jaleel Okafor another chance in the NBA. I'm going to give Jaleel Okafor another chance in the league. Um, We don't have a power for. Oh, uh, actually, no. I can play Michael Porter Jr. at power forward. I didn't think this through. <laughs> um... I could play, yeah, Porter Jr. could play power forward. So right now our starting lineup is almost complete. I might play Porter Jr. at power forward. I don't know. We'll see. I think I'm going to go Chris Dunn here. I'm going to go Chris Dunn. Let's see what the, the Emeralds grab. Mo Wagner and I can't see. Oh, it was Rudy Gay. Hmm. Interesting. Um, Do I go Robert Will? Ooh, Kelly Olenek. Kelly Olenek wouldn't be a bad pickup, honestly. Kelly Olenek would not be a bad pickup. All right, I'm actually going to pick up Robert Williams. And, oh, okay. I, I'm going to actually draft um, Kelly Olenek right after this. Might be weird. I'm going to draft Kelly Olenek. He's on a one-year deal. It's not bad. I want to be somewhat competitive. They draft Malik Monk and Michael Carter-Williams. We got to pick up a backup point guard. George Hill is a very solid backup point guard. Very, very solid. So I might go him. Because right now, for like young point guards, there's nothing. There's really just nothing. So I'm going to go... George Hill, very solid backup point guard. Um, I think a backup power forward is not, even though I'm going to move Kelly Olenek to backup power forward. Right now, it's just we're just filling the team. So I might grab some young players possibly. Um, hmm. There's not many good young players here, to be honest. <laughs> not many good young players. All right, I don't think there's a need. For, I'm going to say the out. Nah, his contract's a bit large. 8 mil for Seti Osman. I don't know about that. Uh, Nico Melli. Wes Matthews. Um, apparently, Jamal's on the Lakers. Don't know when that happened. Tory Craig. Tory Craig's 29? He's only been in the league three years. All right. You probably guys don't want to see this, so I'm just going to skip to when the draft's over. All right. Here we are. We actually face the Emeralds a lot. Why do we face them so often? Did they put us in the same comp? They put us in the same conference. 2K. Why? They put the Pelican. Yup, they always do this. In the offseason, I'm going to switch it. We should be in the East. I hate when 2K does this. I can't stand it. I guess this inaugural season, we're going to be in the Western Conference. Now I'm going to move everyone to their position that I want them at. Um... I'm going to move, I guess, I'm going to put Tim Hardaway there. Oh, Michael Porter Jr. only goes down one overall. you like to see it. I'm going to keep him there. RJ Barrett. We got Nick Claxton, Chris Clemens, Chris Dunn. We're going to have your secondary shooting guard. Same thing with you, Tim Hardaway. Ursan. This, this team isn't terrible. I don't like Doug McDermott on the team. At all. I'm actually going to move um, Kelly Olenek to a power forward. He might be our starting power forward. We have John Tay Porter on the team. Michael Porter Jr. will make yours a small forward secondary. All right. Um, right. Let's see what this lineup's looking like. We got George Hill, RJ Bear. Oh, this is your first look at the uniforms. Um, Tim Hardaway Jr. The These aren't the nicer uniforms. The white ones are nice. Michael Porter Jr. We have two juniors on the team. And then Jalil Okafor starting at center. We got Kelly Olenek, Chris Dunn, Doug McDermott, and Ersan Ilyasova. Um, we don't... Doug McDermott's not going to play. I'm not even sure if I want Ursan playing. To be honest with you. We're going to give those minutes to Robert Williams. Give him 17. Um, we don't have a shooting guard, so we'll give those to Wesley Matthews. We'll give Wesley Matthews some minutes. Um, Ursan. Who's a backup point guard? Chris Dunn? Actually, I want Chris Dunn to start. I don't want George Hill starting. I want Chris Dunn starting. Uh, Kelly, yes. As a sixth man, I am very okay with that. Chris Dunn will give 38. We'll give 32. Um, I don't want Ursan playing. Gus Matthews will give that. 17. It might be a nine-man rotation, to be honest. We'll give 30. We'll give 35. We'll give 30 also. We got six minutes left. We'll give those to Chris, um, Chris Clemens. We have those six minutes to Clemens. And for the G League, I will be sending Nicholas Claxton there. 
And I think that might be it for the G League. Yeah, we can't really send anyone else. Um, Hassan is still a free agent. Don't know why he's on the Kings in real life. I am going to go put Devin Booker back on the Suns. And I'm going to put um, John Wall and Russell Westbrook. I'm going to trade him real quick. All right, I made those trades. Here is the look at the home uniforms, which I actually love. I love these uniforms. Um, I would change like the sponsor and stuff, but for some reason, the Huskies fought. The Nike logo and the Coors Light logo are all mixed into one. If I can find a way to change that, I will, because these away uniforms are meh. I'd rather that Huskies logo be white and the jersey be the blue. But we'll figure that out down the line. The alternate uniforms are, these are nice. These were the original away uniforms, but I'm like, these are way too nice. I like these as, you know, an alternate. Another thing I might do is, I just thought about a gradient with like a kind of gray and white. You know, Huskies, Vancouver. That's not a bad idea. But we'll, we'll worry about that later. Um, let me go to the Emeralds and show you their uniforms. So we'll go over here to my... Con All I did was trade um, Alonzo Trier for Devin Booker. Shooting guard for a shooting guard. I guarantee you they weren't going to protect Alonzo Trier. Here is Mike Conley. Here are the Emerald uniforms. They're all right. I mean, the white ones are pretty solid. And these are the away ones. The alternates are just a black version of, I think, these. They're all right. They're fine. I like ours better. Our first game of the season is up against the Sacramento Kings. I have it on five-minute quarters, but everything is sim to um, normalize stats and all that. So we actually are going to play our first game. I am actually going to sim to the end because I don't... I can't sim to... Oh, it's timeout. I'm going to end up simming to the end because I don't feel like playing anymore, to be honest with you. <laughs> I, I just don't. I'm going to go... I'm going to record a Cedric Lewis video. So, you know, I am not just going to sim to the end because I don't really care that much. Okay, sim to the end. Sim to the end, see what happens. Box score. RJ ends up dropping 19. Porter Jr. 17 and 18. Those are going to be very, very good in the simulated stats actually they might be very high i'm guessing since yeah 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 okay that might not i don't know about that one chief i don't know about that one will you oh my god 190 to 194 wow wow we'll just pretend that didn't happen Leave a like if you guys didn't. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. GG.